How's it guys? Uh, Jamie DC here. Today I'm going to be running through my Divinity 2 wing that I built. I've added a KK for stabilization. Flew really well, but I want to add stabilization just so it tracks a bit better. And I know it still is a bit wobbly. What I've got here is standard Hobby King green board. I think it's the 2.1 board. I'm not actually sure. Um, and I've got it running the Open Aero software. I will post a link for that software. It took me just on two hours to set this up, searching the net, trying to find settings, trying to find how to set it up. There didn't seem to be much, so I'm going to share it with you guys. Now in the video you'll notice you'll only see my one uh, Elevon, it's because it's all I could fit into the shot, but I'm going to run through it with you quickly. Basically I'm power on, um, make sure your throttle cut's engaged. Okay, it'll then arm itself and as soon as I start to move the thing, I don't know if you want to see, okay, well, anyway, I've got my elevator surfaces doing what they need to be doing. Okay, for this I've turned the gain right up, it's actually twitching at the moment. Okay, so now what will happen is as the plane dips, you see it's correcting. Okay, now with the specific firmware that I have, turn my gain to around 50 percent yeah um, with this specific firmware I have you have to use rudder you have to have rudder throttle and aileron and elevator tied in so what I did was I did my standard KK type setup we've got one that way one that way um, over there it's the center of frame okay and then on my remotes I mixed my accelerator channel or my throttle channel up to my channel 5 so my ESC comes off on channel 5 the rest come off one to four. Then, one thing I noticed, if you've only got Elevon, uh, sorry, elevator and aileron, it doesn't arm the board. You have to have them all plugged in. Once they're all plugged in, arm's great. Got my mixing done in here, so you're gonna have to have your Elevons mixed. Then you've got Elevon one, Elevon two, and rudder as your trims for your gains. Um, obviously, I don't have a rudder, so it will try to correct, but there isn't anything in there for that. And you mount the board like you normally do on a KK. Um, what happens is these two uh, two sets of pins at the end are one uh, elevon, the next set are another, and the first two are rudder. It took me a while to figure out the pinouts because there's nothing on the internet yet again. But yeah, that's basically all there is to it. You flash it if you need info on flashing. Please see Flight Test's um, video on how to flash your KK board for a quadcopter. Just change your firmware. Um, and that's about all there is to setting this up. You just flash your firmware, plug in mess around until you get the settings you want. You'll find that one is normal, one is reversed on these pins. So uh, I think this is reversed, normal, reverse, normal, reverse, normal. So like for instance if you have ailerons, you can then have your reversed or in this case you run I run one reverse, one not because of the way that I've placed my servos. But anyway guys thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.